Thailand's education system finds itself in the global spotlight after recent assessments place its students below regional peers in literacy, science, and math. With the country's literacy rate at 94.1%, it lags behind neighbors like Brunei, Singapore, the Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam, and Malaysia, almost all the ASEAN countries. Yeah. Uh, in response, Oneska is revamping its evaluation methods, shifting from internal reviews to an external support role. Mm, yes. So, there it goes. Yeah, and it's also backed by real-time feedback tools for schools. Now, the reforms aim to transform assessment from a bureaucratic task to a catalyst for genuine improvement and addresses glaring digital skill gaps. Currently, only about 1% of Thais have advanced digital skills. Hmm. What's going on here? I don't know. If well, anything, yeah. I think they should double down on the digital skills. we got to practice for the future. Right, of course. I, this is something that, this is a big problem that happens actually in a lot of East Asian education, is that there's much more of an emphasis on test-taking abilities, right? Mm -hmm. Like, there's some... In China, it's called the Gao Kao. I'm not sure what it is here, but the it's standardized testing is like absolutely just, you know, that's how you get into the good schools. And mm. It was a big problem in America too with SAT. Yeah. Although in American university systems, there is more of a holistic approach to a student's application. Mm -hmm. Like they look at your extra extracurricular activities, your GPA, your standardized test scores, all of that. And they see them as measuring different aspects of the student's life. In a lot of East Asian countries, it's just about passing the test. And that's rote memorization. Doesn't develop critical thinking skills. 